So, a lot of times I make videos about Shabbos and before Shabbos, and I just wanted to uh, welcome you to uh, five or ten minutes before Shabbos video. So here is Batal. And he's checking the fires because on Shabbos we cover the fires so that we don't change them at all. This is a special thing called a blech. It's just a piece of metal and it, we keep the fires on underneath it. Where can you get one? I have no idea. And here's our challenge, which I promised you a recipe a long time ago. I never gave you one. And I'm about, I just got dressed for Shabbos. I'm about to check on the chalas. So let's see how they're doing. Um, they look pretty ready. Let's see. Now see how the inside's a little white? That means it's not quite ready. Okay, here is the urn. I gotta put those eggs away. The urn is on because we don't cook on Shabbos, so we need hot water ready. And Han, what else do you wanna wanna tell say anything? How you feeling? Um we also have to check lights. That's an important one. Oh, yeah. So all the lights, unless you have a timer that turns it on and off. But even the timer, you have to check if you have that on. Right. Um, so that's another one of the regular things that you check. Also very um, spiffy white dry clean shirts. <laughs> <laughs> Looking good. Uh, Shabbos table. Our Shabbos table is set with the finest plastic you could buy. And um, sometimes we're using china. It really all depends. And there's the Shabbos candles ready to be lit. Um, lights, like Batal said, all the lights that are on are going to stay on all Shabbos. We don't use elect, we don't, we use electricity, but we don't turn on electricity. And things are suspiciously quiet. Now, my two little kids are away at a farm, and one of their jobs is to put away the shoes every Shabbos. So that's kind of our mess. But otherwise, nice and clean, quiet in the Perlman house, waiting for the Shabbos queen to come. I am excited. And, um... What else can I tell you? Let's see, anything else interesting? We have, we set the table, we have the, this is for the challah, you put the challah on there, it's really pretty, and that's to cover the challah. And that's the kiddush cup. And here's a little basket for the challah. And um, there's really not so much more to tell you, except that, I don't know how to hold this, so there you go. Um, except that Arab Shabbos is a very special time. The whole house changes, not just because it's clean for a change, but just because the holiness of Shabbos is already here and it's something you can, you can feel and you can also smell if you have that challah in the oven. It's pretty awesome. And I'll just, I'll just show you what we're cooking just so you know. Let's see. Um, let's see what we got over here. Oh, this is good stuff. That's shakshuka with garlic and stewed tomatoes. And in here, peeking in, Let's see, we've got some green beans and the most amazing luxury kugel ever, sweet noodle kugel, tastes like French toast, and a chicken soup, and down here in the warming drawer, we have a whole bunch of other stuff. Okay, um, hon, am I missing anything? Are you hungry? Um, I didn't hear everything you said, but really the preparation is the whole day or the whole week. So it's only the last few things that are at this time that uh, should be taken care of, like the fire and the lights and those kind of small things. Could you give an example of how you prepared for Shabbos today? Um, there is cleaning the whole house. There's cooking everything for Shabbos. Uh, there is shopping that we have to do. Um, learning, preparing Torah for Shabbos, learning the Parsha of the week, um, and yeah, that's about it. That's about it. And you cleaned the yard. Thank you. Yes. That was nice. Um, and that's it. Uh, now I'm noticing I did not clean my fridge, but okay. Here's a little quote just for you guys. Alrighty. Um, that's it. Have a very beautiful Shabbos wherever you are. And if you are thinking about becoming Shabbos observant, just know that the greatest peace awaits you. And now my phone's going to go off and it's going to stay that way for the next 25 hours of pure peace and connection and family. It's a pretty awesome deal. Okay, goodbye everyone. Have a very good Shabbos. And... Bye-bye to my phone. Good Shabbos.